Pop out right now, pull my big one on these hoes, damn I'm not acrobatic, I'm not flippin' on my bro, no nope. All my shit be fashion, well, I like, cannot get it stuck, damn yeah, no. Real talkin' stick, I catch a bitch before I catch a cold Post Malone's smash hit Rockstar featuring 21 Savage was originally a completely different song. This is low key crazy. T Pain revealed in a post on X that Post Malone's Rockstar originally featured himself and Joey Badass before the latter added that he ghost wrote the whole entire song. Lil Wayne originally went by the name Shrimp Daddy. Yep, Lil Wayne was once called Shrimp Daddy with the inspiration for the pseudonym coming from former cash money artist Pimp Daddy. World known P. Diddy used to be a backup dancer for Big Daddy Kane and Heavy D. That's right, P. Diddy was a backing dance when Heavy D and the boys performed You Can't See What I Can See on In Living Color in 1992. The performance also features a then unknown Tupac. World known artist Drake wrote in his high school yearbook that he wanted to be a break dancer singer. The Canadian rapper also revealed that his favorite expression was bling bling. Jay Z and Busta Rhymes went to school together and once battled with each other in their cafeteria. Jay and Busta both attended George Westinghouse High School in Brooklyn, and there's a famous tale of their battling together in their school cafeteria. Kanye West shares the same birthday as Tim Berners-Lee, creator of the World Wide Web. As someone with such an interest in business and technology, Yeezy is no doubt thrilled to share the same birthday as the man who invited the World Wide Web. Easy E signed the Black Eyed Peas. Easy E's Ruthless Records signed Will I Am and APL the AP to the label in 1992 after they caught the attention of Easy E manager Jerry Heller's nephew. CeeLo Green sang backing vocals on TLC's Waterfalls. Next time you listen to 1995's Waterfalls, look out for the backing vocals from CeeLo Green.